Hi uh, guys. Today I'm going to read Homestuck on my one year anniversary. A young man stands in the bedroom. It just so happens that today, the 13th of April, is this man, young man's birthday. Though it was 13 years ago he was given life, it is only today that he will be given a name. What will the na name of this young man be? Hmm. Is this now Poop Lord? Nope. John Edward. Woohoo! Your name's John. As it was previously mentioned, it was it's your birthday. A number of cakes have been sca are scattered across your room. You have a variety of interests. You have a passion for very terrible movies. You like to program computers, but you're not very good at it. You have a fondness for paranormal lore and, and are an aspiring amateur magician. Am amateur magician. Ma ma ah! Let's just skip this. <laughs> you also like to play games sometimes. Well, you do. You're on your magic chest, poop boy. Alright, let's remove the cake from the magic chest. I have John's sympathy for Steve and Lack. I have sympathy for John's perceived love lack, lack of arms. Pick up the cake and put it on his bed. And now we actually um, get our thingy one jiggy, whatever you call it. I'm perfectly fine with it. Anyway. You retrieve your fake arms from the chest. You use you use these for hilarious antics. You capture log them in your Silidex. You have no idea what that actually means though. There are other items in the chest. I'm going to summarize this. These are two fake arms, already caps capsulogged in our Celadex, one pair of trick handcuffs, one stun sword, a magician's hat, um, a pair of regal pus, gl pus, gla pus glasses, se several smoke pellets, several more blood capsules, and a, cop I mean, a copy, a copy of Colonel Sassaker's daunting test te text of magical frivolity and practical jappery. Let's just call that Captain Sassaker from now on. Captain Sassaker, mm -hmm. Colonel Sassaker's book from now on, and one copy of Harry Anderson's Wise Guy by Mike Cavaney. Let's call. Let's call that. Let's just call that Harry Anderson. Harry Anderson's book. All right. For now we just decide to take this. And John t decides to take the smoke pallets. All right. So now we did that. So we have uh, two empty capture log cards remaining. All right. I'm kind of stuttering. I'm not sure if if equip is a verb capacitiveness. And ask her, but you give it a try. But we can't access it because it's because it's under the smoke pellets. I have to, mm -hmm. we got, in order to access the arms, I need to catch along the pellets. Our silly deck fetch, mo fetch, fetch mode is, tur is currently dictated by the logic of the stacks. Yeah, that is smart, I was never, you were never all that great with this, with data structures. And do you find the comes are probably mildly irritating. Let me help you. Perhaps you'll accept them and that's the new, more practical fetch, fetch mode I in for your cell decks with a little more experience. Is this even possible to get more hard-boiled than that? This. You really doubt it. This person was one of your wisest purchases. And then a uh, place there. Um, there's a nice spot on the wall next to it. You need, I mean, you've been meaning to hang a rather poster there soon. This note is rich with, with the aromas of fatherly aftershaves and corones. 
Yeah, 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 no, there's a roll up poster. Happy birthday, son. I am so proud of you. Another birthday artifact. You want to look strangely on the poster. You need to some way to hang. Acquire hammer and nails. They will come in handy. Alright, let's do that. All our capture logs are cards are full. I wonder what will happen. You wonder what will happen if you try to take the nails. You guess it doesn't hurt to try. We cap. We capture log a couple. We capture logs, the nails, the nails, and then we push all the artifacts down the card. And now the and now the fake arms are out of the deck. They're probably oh well, they're probably completely useless anyway. But you probably don't want to do that again, because unless you don't want unless you want to drop the smoke pellets and suffer the consequences. But in case you you now feel like you've gathered enough things to drop down to get down to business and uh, do some really important stuff. The next thing you do will be probably be exceptionally needful. Squack like an imbecile and crap on your desk. Let's do this. That's the dumbest idea you have in weeks. Stupid, stupid, stupid. And you have to polish surface on your deck. I mean, not your deck. Your desk. It beckons. And now we merge into the top two cards. The hairs are nailed, and now the tops are logged in the same card, and now they can be used together. You, we use the hammer and you we use the hammer and nail card in conjunction with the card beneath it. Let's nail it. You use the hammer, nails, and posters on the blank space of the wall. It's glorious. Exactly what you wanted. The old man really came through this time. Put the bunny back in the box. I said, put the bunny back in the box. Why couldn't you put the bunny back in the box? And now I'm going to stop it here. Thanks for watching.